Welcome to Ride JBI. This is JB. Today I finished up a set of 2019 Kawasaki KX450 suspension. The suspension is set up for off-road riding in the northern Nevada area, specifically Reno. That is actually where I grew up. So I'm quite familiar with the terrain and the places that this customer is riding. The 2019 Kawasaki KX450 is the first year that Kawasaki went back to a spring fork. Uh, before that, in 2013, they started using air forks. Uh, 2013 to 2014 was the KYB PSF1 air fork. And then after that, they switched over to the Showa TAC air fork, the triple air chamber. Well, those had split reviews. Um, once this new Showa 49 millimeter spring fork came out, it received very positive reviews as it has very good baseline motocross suspension settings that work well for a range of riders. Now this rider is doing off-road riding and much more technical, slower, single track type riding. So for that, we did a few things. The OEM subvalve, that is the piece that is silver, was replaced with the JBI suspension subvalve. Reason for this is that subvalve is what interacts with the clicker. So when you adjust your clicker, you are adjusting how much oil bypasses through the center of the subvalve and then comes out through the transfer ports, these four holes at the base of it. Over the years working with this fork, we have found that oftentimes the subvalve or that that plane finished flying above us. Over the years, we found that the subvalve was often a bottleneck of restriction um, for oil flow, when in reality, we want the clicker and or the valving on the subvalve to be the bottleneck or the restrictive place, not the subvalve itself. So what we did was redesign a new one that features larger intake ports and transfer ports on the side. So that means the subvalve itself is no longer the bottleneck. You, the rider, can decide how restrictive you want it to be based on the compression clicker setting and or the subvalve shim setting. This is important because having more optimized flows through your subvalve allows us to run a better main piston shim stack on the compression piston. So there's a more seamless transition of how this valve flows and then flowing the oil through the piston itself. So in simple terms, what that means is a much more compliant, responsive, and plusher feel of a fork. Now that's gonna be based on the settings you do, but we set this one up for off-road riding. So while we do have a softer subvalve, we actually run slightly stiffer shim stacks compared to the stock setup because more of the oil flow. So these forks are going to be working really smooth and ride like a cloud. Now that we got the new subvalve in there, along with JBI suspension valving on the inside. The rear shock was revalved to match the mods we did on the forks. As you can see, we have a firmer spring on there to match the rider's weight. We also have a firmer spring in the forks as well to match the rider's weight. Along with the JBI suspension valving, we have the JBI bladder cap on the rear shock. This utilizes a Schrader valve to fill instead of the self-sealing rubber plug that you see on these shocks in the OEM form. And we also used our JBI black bumper on the bottom. These black bumpers resist UV sun fading over time a lot better. They don't soak up water like the stock foam ones do. So they resist doing that and they just look a hell of a lot better than the yellowish stock ones that come on there. All JBI suspension services and parts can be found at ridejbi.com. If you're looking for a custom suspension setup, please send us an email or give us a call. We'd be happy to talk to you and come up with a strategy and setup that will work best for your riding conditions riding type and terrain.